Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Sephora's Season to Sparkle Holiday Brush Set. This set retails for 45 US dollars and 60 Canadian dollars. The way that I review brush sets on my channel is we will talk about each brush individually and then I will be applying makeup using those brushes for those of you who would like to see how those brushes perform. So let's get started. So those are the brushes in the box. Then inside we get this pink pouch with Sephora logo right here. And this is what it looks like inside. And here you can see the brushes inside the case and you can close it very easily when the brushes are in. So it looks small and compact. Now let's talk about the brushes. So this is an eight piece brush set we get four face brushes and four eye brushes the brushes are absolutely stunning you could see how gorgeous the handle is and what i love about sephora holiday brush sets they write what each brush is meant for so this is the largest brush and it says powder right here so this is our powder brush. It feels very nice and very soft. The next brush is a foundation brush. And this feels also very nice. Not very dense, not very soft, just a very good medium density. Now we get an angled blush brush and a contour brush. Now moving on to the eye brushes. We get a very nice size fluffy crease brush, a shader, a shadow brush, a concealer brush. I like to use this type of brushes to deposit pigment onto the eyelid, whether you use a glitter or a shimmer, this should apply it really well. And the last brush is a brow brush with a spoolie. In the last year set, the brow brush was amazing. It was very similar to the Anastasia brush. So I'm looking forward to trying this one out. And now I'm going to apply makeup using those brushes. I'm going to start with my eyes first. And the first step that I do is use a toner or any micellar water to remove the excess oil that we might have on the lids. For an eye primer, I will be using NYX HD eyeshadow base. Now using this fluffy crease brush, I'm going to go into Wet and Wild Reserve Your Cabana and I'm going to set the eye primer. Eyeshadows, I'll be using this gorgeous palette from Lise Vautier Irresistible Holiday Collection. I did a whole review on that collection. If you would like to check it out, it's a stunning collection. And I'm using that crease brush and I'm gonna take those two shades and mix them and apply it in my crease. Now with a concealer brush, I'm going to go into this deeper shade and I'm going to apply it in my outer corner. I actually applied it halfway on my lid, so I'm going to blend it together. going to intensify the color a bit I'm going to go into the shadow right here and apply it on my lid Also a very nice size shadow brush. I'm just going to spray it with MAC Fix Plus to intensify the shimmer. Now 
So now put on my eyes and I'm going to apply an eyeliner and a mascara and I will be right back. I applied some liner and a mascara. I used a moisturizer and a face primer. And now I'm going to go in with a foundation. I'll be using Annabelle Perfect Fit Matte Foundation and a mix two shades, 100 and 110. I'm going to be using the foundation brush. I could say right away that I love the brush. I love the density. I love how it feels. It's very soft on the skin and it applies the foundation very nicely. love this brush it's really nice and i like how it applied the specific foundation i always go in to fix it up with a sponge after and i really don't feel like i need to this time and now that my foundation is applied you could see the dark circles under my eyes let's go cover them up i'm going to be using nyx dark circle concealer in the shade fear and i use this one more as a corrector a huge difference right away I'm going to be using the Annabelle concealer this is the same brand as the foundation this is the a Canadian drugstore brand So I will be using the contour brush to set under my eyes and I'm going to be going in with Marcel face powder to set under my eyes and my whole face. I'm going to set my face with this powder brush. very nice and soft brush and I will be using it again for a bronzer and I'm going to be applying mascara on my lower lashes and I'm going to be using the deluxe sample by MAC and this is the upward lash mascara now using the angled brow brush I'm gonna go into this elf shadow brow and liner palette and I'm going to do my eyebrows using those last two shades amazing amazing brush very similar to my Anastasia brush thin firm and very very nice I'm going to apply brow gel now I'm going to be using this powder brush again and I'm going to be applying a bronzer and for bronzer I'm using Too Faced Chocolate Soleil So this brush applied the bronzer very nicely so it's soft and the size is perfect to set the face and to apply the bronzer it's not too large so this is a very nice brush as well and now i'm gonna go into this angled blush brush and i'm gonna be using the blush from the lee's with ca collection which is a stunning blush I do like this brush a lot and I'm going to use the lip balm from the same Lee's with the irresistible collection so last time I applied it directly 
onto my lips and it was very bright so I'm just going to dab it lightly let's quickly go over the brushes this crease brush is very nice and fluffy however if you have smaller and more hooded eyes um, I found that it was a bit too large for me I like it when it's a tiny bit smaller but it was still okay I was able to use it and it felt soft if you have more space here that would be perfect for you however even with the hooded eyes you could make it work it's a bit on the larger side but it does feel very soft and very nice the shadow brush is a nice your standard shadow brush it applied the eyeshadow very nicely on the lids this is the concealer brush. I haven't used it for a concealer, but I used it to deposit the darker shade onto my outer corner and it performed really well and you could use it as I mentioned before. This kind of brushes, they pick up the pigment and shimmer really, really well. So you could use it on your lid. I absolutely love this brush. If I would have to rate it, this would be 10 out of 10. It comes with a spoolie. It's thin, firm and very very nice I love their brow brush in their last year holiday collection and I'm really happy that this year it was the same quality the foundation brush is great as I mentioned before the density is really nice it's not very dense where it doesn't move you could see that it moves yet it's still dense it's perfect it applied my foundation really well so I'm very happy with this brush. Contour brush is also very nice. I didn't use it for contour. I'm sure it would also do a great job. I used it to set under my eyes and it feels very nice. The blush brush is also very nice. It's angled and it applied the blush really well. Now this is a powder brush. I set my face with this. It worked really well for that purpose. And also size wise and shape wise, it worked perfectly for a bronzer so all in all i am very very happy with that set i could definitely recommend it you will definitely not be disappointed the quality is very nice in those brushes i hope the video was helpful thank you so much for watching thank you for being here with me and have a great day and i will see you again in my next video